His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of congratulations from DBDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the BDF's achievement of securing first place in the first GCC military shooting championship hosted in Bahrain. The Commander in Chief attributed this distinguished military sports achievement to His Majesty the King's unwavering support, guidance, and commitment to advancing military sports and all forms of sports in Bahrain. He praised Bahrain's achievements, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He prayed to Allah Almighty to bless His Majesty with good health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the BDF's achieving first place in the first GCC military shooting championship hosted in Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Prime Minister of Mongolia, Oyun Erden Lufsan Mansre at Kudaybiya Palace. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of strengthening Bahrain-Mongolia relations, reaffirming the Kingdom's commitment to advancing bilateral ties to achieve shared aspirations. He highlighted the mutual commitment to enhancing cooperation between both countries, aiming to benefit both nations and their peoples. The meeting focused on enhancing multi sectoral collaboration, addressing the latest regional and international developments and issues of common interest. And for his part, Mongolia's Prime Minister expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness' dedication to strengthening their country's relations and wished Bahrain for continued progress and prosperity. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and senior officials also attended this meeting. National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the final rounds and conclusion of the first GCC Shooters Championship hosted by the BDF for the first time and organized by BDF's Military Sports Union with the participation of GCC countries. The closing ceremony was attended by the Commander of the Royal Special Forces, His Highness Colonel Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Upon their arrival, they were welcomed by the Assistant Chief of Staff for Operations, Chairman of the Supreme Organizing Committee of the Tournament, Major General Aghanem al Fadala, the Director of the Military Sports Federation of the BDF, Brigadier General Mohammed bin Shalal, and the heads of participating GCC delegations. His Highness hailed the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the continuous follow-up of the BDF Commander-in-Chief to the military sports sector, which resulted in making many military sports achievements in regional and international forums. He said that the BDF harnesses all its capabilities to motivate its members to participate in competitions and events. He said that the championship represents an important milestone for the military sector in 
all GCC countries, especially as it creates a spirit of competition and raises the level of military shooting and the capabilities of participants through the presence of various competitions, which will have a positive impact on all participants. His Highness also crowned the winners of the first places, handing over the Superiority Cup for overall team to Bahrain, as well as handing over the prizes to the winning teams in the 200 meter rifle shooting competition. Bahrain won first place, the UAE came second, Oman third. In the 20 meter pistol shooting competition, Oman won first place, Bahrain second, and the UAE third. In the 40 meter pistol shooting competition, the UAE came first, Bahrain second, and Saudi Arabia third. In the warrior competition for officers, Omani Lieutenant Assad Al Kalbani won first place, Emirati Major Ali Al Ghafri came second, and Bahraini Major Mohammed Al Ghatan was third. In the warrior competition for individuals, Bahraini Sergeant Ahmed Hamoud won first place, Bahraini Sergeant Bashar Awad came second, and Saudi Arabia Staff Sergeant Saeed Al Zahrani came third. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work, youth affairs and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received president of the Spanish Football League, Javier Tebas, and his delegation. The meeting was attended by the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority, president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness noted that La Liga has made remarkable progress in enhancing the quality of competitions to be one of the most prominent leagues in the world and enjoys a high public following, including football fans from Bahrain. He pointed out the importance of the visit of the president of La Liga as an additional incentive to build sustainable sports relations between the two, two sides, as well as a base benefit from the experiences and best practices of the Spanish league. Tebas thanked His Highness for his efforts in promoting Bahraini sports in general and football in particular, wishing Bahraini sports further progress and prosperity. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa and France's ambassador to Bahrain, Eric Giraud-Telm, signed the executive program for the Memorandum of Understanding established between Bahrain and France in 1980. The signing ceremony was attended by the Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Deputy Chairman of the High Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Vice Chairman of the GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Vice President of BOC, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Minister of Health, Dr. Jalil Hassan, and the Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed Jum'a. His Highness Sheikh Khaled highlighted the significance of signing the executive program, highlighting the historic and strong ties between the two countries and their shared commitment to development and prosperity. He emphasized that the executive program is the result of a long history of joint work across various sectors, contributing to strengthening cooperation in culture, education, sports and health to form a strong foundation for building bridges of understanding and promoting shared values. His Highness underscored Bahrain's commitment to developing strategic partnership aimed at achieving mutual goals and implementing projects and programs that serve the interests of both countries.
Sport is one of the most important cooperation that we have between France and Bahrain. We were very honored and, and glad tonight to welcome at the French residence uh, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, uh, the uh, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee uh, and the Chairman of General Sports Authority to uh, attend uh, this uh, reception, which had two targets, so to say. First of all, it was the idea to celebrate the successes of Bahrain during the uh, Paris 2024 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Uh, as you know, Bahrain has been uh, brilliant during these Games and we were very happy to welcome the uh, awarded athletes tonight for this uh, celebration that we are having. The second thing, which is uh, very important, of course, is uh, to sign uh, uh, an agreement, partnership, between uh, Izanis Sheikh Khaled and myself, between uh, Bahrain and France, to go further on and develop our cooperation and, uh, and uh, strengthen our cooperation in sport. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa inaugurated the Bahrain Mangroves Initiative by planting several mangroves today at the Royal Bahrain Air Force. His Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment to tackling climate change and its target to quadruple mangroves coverage by 2035. He said that community partnership is essential to the success of Bahrain's afforestation plan and its environment goals and broader aspirations. This partnership also supports the National Action Plan's initiative to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060 in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to implementing initiatives and plans that preserve the environment, ensure resources, risk sustainability and create a better future for all. He noted the tireless efforts of the Supreme Council for Environment, led by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture and all concerned authorities in combating climate challenges, preserving the environment and enhancing biodiversity. He he commended the BDF's support to all initiatives that aim to achieve security and biodiversity. He also stressed the importance of raising awareness about environmental preservation, particularly through expanding Bahrain's green spaces and increasing mangrove plantations. He noted that mangroves are crucial in mitigating climate change and maintaining ecological balance. Bahrain has committed to reducing carbon emissions by 30% by 2035 and reach net zero in 2060. To amplify awareness, the social media account at Bahrain Mangroves was launched to provide insights into the importance of mangroves, planting techniques and general updates on Bahrain's environmental efforts. Senior officials also attended this event. The Civil Service Bureau received the Digital Transformation in Human Resources Award from the Bahrain Society for Human Resources Management for its innovative government employee application. This came during a ceremony held in the presence of the Shura Council Chairman Ali Al Salah, where the Director General of the Recruitment and Information at CSB Ali Al Hamadi accepted the award. This award aims uh, to recognize organizations and individuals for their outstanding contributions to the management and development of human resources. The Government Employee App is one of the pioneering digital initiatives launched by the Civil Service Authority in cooperation with IGA. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met the Saudi Arabian Finance Minister, Mohammed Al Jadan, in the presence of Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and Ambassador of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman bin Ali Al Khalifa. The meeting took place as part of the Finance Minister's participation in the third edition of the Zakat Tax and Customs Conference held in Riyadh. 
Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa emphasized the strength of the deep-rooted and brotherly ties between the two countries. He highlighted support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud of bilateral relations and cooperation. He pointed out to the ongoing efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Mohammed bin Salman al Saud, to enhance cooperation and integration, contributing to achieving shared goals and aspirations and fostering prosperity and development for both brotherly nations. During this meeting, discussed aspects of cooperation in the financial and economic sectors between the two kingdoms were reviewed and ways for them to achieve shared objectives and mutual benefits for the two nations and their peoples. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in a panel discussion titled Guiding Economic Recovery and Growth as part of the third edition of the Zakat Tax and Customs Conference held in Riyadh. The Minister of Finance, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Zakat Tax and Customs Authority of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed Al Jadan, Indonesian Finance Minister Sri Mulyani, and Indian Finance Minister Pankaj Gadari also participated. The minister emphasized the continued keenness of the GCC countries to adopt diverse fiscal strategies tailored to their local priorities, which focus on economic diversification, increasing non-oil revenues, promoting innovation and supporting foreign direct investments. He said that the general framework of financial governance in GCC countries aims to enable economic diversification and promote regional integration. He also reviewed Bahrain's economic diversification path. And he highlighted the importance of focusing on priority sectors, such as uh, financial services, oil and gas tourism, communication and information technology, logistics and manufacturing, in addition to adopting a policy of economic stimulation. He also said that through the fiscal balance program, the government has the ability to control expenditures and find a balance and positive relation between the growth of the non-oil sector and fiscal policies. The conference brings together more than 5,000 experts, decision makers and leaders from around the world to discuss the latest trends, technologies and contemporary models in zakat, tax collection and customs regulation. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, inaugurated the 12th Middle East Technology Information Conference and Bahrain International Technology Exhibition under the theme AI for All. The Minister affirmed Bahrain's development in digital transformation, AI integration and innovation under the vision of His Majesty the King and the government's initiatives led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister. The minister noted Bahrain's top global rankings in internet penetration, 5G coverage and cyber security, emphasizing the kingdom's commitment to leveraging AI and digital technologies to drive economic growth and sustainable development. This year we have the second edition of Meet ICT and Bitex exhibition. And what we decided this year to select AI as the theme of this event because we ever, we know that everybody is involved in AI be uh, in, in a way that we cannot say that AI is belong to one certain sector. We can always have Bahrain to be an attraction to companies to come and participate in Bahrain. The reason that uh, for that is Bahrain having the skills of, of IT and the right infrastructure and with a strong economy. So Bahrain is uh, very much uh, in the radar of companies where they want to expand their businesses and uh, utilize the infrastructure that Bahrain has. The event this year is focusing on artificial intelligence for all, AI for all. That's why when we invited companies here in Bahrain, we want them to showcase their AI capabilities, their AI, anything related to AI. AI is something that we cannot avoid today. It will touch all, every organization, each company, each ministry, each individual. 
That's why even Microsoft said every country, every company should be an AI company going forward. Our main subject, our main uh, target for us in this event, to reach to the market, to the enterprise market, to the government, to uh, even the SMEs. And we make a very promotional offers available. Bytex is one of the important events that we are attending here uh, since many years back uh, to reach to the market in Bahrain. Uh, also, we have to support that to show to the public what's Bahrain doing. Uh, a lot of innovation being done by Bahraini's team, by Bahraini's technologies, uh, which may be reached to the world or more than what the world reached for it in the ICT technologies. The Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Minister, Engineer Wa'al Ibn Nasr Al Mubarak, announced that the 12th edition of the Bahrain Farmers Market will be launched on December 7th and that until February 22nd, in partnership with the National Initiative for Agricultural Development and STC Bahrain at the Budaya Botanical Garden. We have more in this report. The 12th Bahraini Farmer Market opens on December 7th, coinciding with Bahrain's national holidays and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's accession to the throne. This annual event showcases local farmers, brands and craft persons, connecting them with the community. It offers fresh produce, plants, flowers and high-quality agricultural products, highlighting Bahraini farmer skills. The market is more than just a product display. It's a cultural celebration that strengthens Bahraini identity and brings people together. It also shows the importance of farming and achieving food security. The event follows a national plan to support modern farming methods, create better marketing opportunities for farmers, and highlights the importance of government-farmer partnership. By hosting this unique annual event, Bahrain shows its commitment to mixing tradition with new ideas. It proves its dedication to further growing the farmer sector and building a more sustainable future. The Bahrain Farmers Market stands out as a model for growth that helps farmers further support the local economy and brings the community closer together. The Bahrain Farmers Market stands out as a model for growth that helps farmers further support the local economy and brings the community closer together. The Minister of Oil and Environment, Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana, inaugurated Bahrain's pavilion at the exhibition accompanying the 16th session of the Conference of the Parties, COP16, to the UN Convention to Combat Desertification held in Saudi Arabia. Dr. bin Dana underscored Bahrain's commitment to supporting regional and international efforts aimed at unifying objectives to tackle environmental and climate challenges, particularly those exasperating desertification and agricultural land degradation. He emphasized Bahrain's dedication to implementing national initiatives and projects that address climate change, achieve environmental balance, and align with the Kingdom's commitments under international agreements and treaties for environmental and wildlife protection. The Bahraini Pavillon will feature initiatives and programs aimed at protecting land from degradation, which include the Budur al Bahrain campaign under the Sustainable Green City project, the afforestation plan, the Forever Green campaign and the National Mangrove Cultivation project. The pavillon will also host discussions on combating desertification and protecting land from degradation. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Yasser Hamidan, met with Egypt's Minister of Electricity and Renewable Energy, Dr. Mahmoud Asmat, on the sidelines of the 15th session of the Arab Ministerial Council for Electricity and the 39th meeting of the Executive Office of the Arab Ministerial Council for Electricity. The meeting discussed the exchange of expertise in electricity, renewable energy and energy efficiency and explored ways to benefit from international systems and regulations in this field. Hamedan highlighted the strong historical ties between Bahrain and Egypt and their shared commitment to enhancing cooperation in electricity and renewable energy.
The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Yasser Humaydan, reaffirmed Bahrain's commitment to strengthening Arab energy cooperation through innovative solutions aligned with advanced technologies. The minister noted that Bahrain's recent appointment as deputy chair of the executive office of the Arab Ministerial Council for Electricity reflects Bahrain's expertise in developing electricity infrastructure, including energy production projects, capacity enhancement, and efficiency improvement to drive economic growth and deliver advanced services. He also affirmed the importance of ensuring the sustainability of energy resources to meet growing demand and transition to a green economy, enhancing Arab competitiveness in global markets. The Ministry of Education won first place in the Arab world and third globally in the number of schools that have been awarded the title of Technology Incubator Schools based on Microsoft's evaluation of the best outstanding schools globally. The Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak Jama, said that the ministry is studying new projects now in digital education, focusing on important technical aspects, especially those related to enhancing the use of AI. We have more in this report. The Ministry of Education has made great efforts to develop and advance the educational process to keep pace with the latest successful experiences at the global level. Recently, the Ministry of Education won first place in the Arab world and third globally in the number of technology incubator schools, based on Microsoft's assessment of the outstanding schools in the world to employ digital technology for the year 2024. This success would not have been possible without the efforts of the Ministry of Education and its plans over the years and implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King with the follow-up of Bahrain's government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which provided all the needed capabilities to develop the educational process as evidenced by Microsoft's report that 61 schools in the kingdom have obtained this title. This achievement illustrates the tireless efforts of schools in Bahrain where seven schools received the title of Technology Incubator Schools for the fourth consecutive cycle and 16 schools for the third consecutive cycle, after proving their efficiency in activating digital programs and applications in their education, administrative and technical work, supporting innovation and creativity in this field, and keeping pace with the skills of the 21st century. Based on the Ministry of Education's ambitious visions and goals, it is currently studying several new development projects in digital education, focusing on important technical aspects, especially enhancing the use of artificial intelligence. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhru, held meetings with India's senior officials as part of the 29th edition of the Partnership Summit 24 in New Delhi. Fakhru emphasized the importance of strengthening economic and trade relations between Bahrain and India. Talks also focused on updates on bilateral cooperation and efforts to explore new and diverse opportunities across various investment and developmental sectors. The Under Secretary of Labour Ministry, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the opening of the 25th Bahrain Society for Human Capital Management Congress on Human Resources, held under the theme Shaping Strategic Partnerships in Human Resource Management. The three day conference will discuss the challenges and aspirations within each organization in order to keep pace with the changes in human resources management as a strategic decision making partner to achieve the goals of the organization's top management of growth and profitability, in addition to the impact of digital transformation on the performance of organizations and digital literacy. The conference is attended by a group of decision makers from CEOs and specialists in major local and international companies, in addition to experts in human resource development from inside and outside Bahrain.